Sipayo, yendo mutegeze Mwana wambantu, tanumia Former President Idi Amin was known for his duo personality. One minute he could be kind and jolly with his booming laugh, which some said could be heard from International Hotel to Chibuli. But the next minute he was in a foul temper, sometimes with devastating effects. <laughs> Amin enjoyed life to the full. He loved music and drama, and during his days as army commander, he could be found queuing up at the National Theatre and cinema halls, waiting to watch a new production. He would actually leave all other cars and get uh, a famous car today. People no, don't realize it, but there's a car number UUU017. Today it's with a very famous singer called Morris. But that was my Muse's uh, getaway car, where he would end up in what Salama Road. They would be together with uh, Prince Mawanda. They liked the same things. They had been in the, the military, King's African Rifles, together. And they had this intense interest in the, in the, better, the better half of uh, humanity. <laughs> He spent his leisure time listening to brass bands at Gaba Beach and Cape Town Villas. Such was his love for music that he always joined in with the dancers at state functions. You have to show a rapport with your people. By the way, it's the most natural African leadership style. And he exuded it the best because for him he was actually a very sincere person at heart. When he's happy, he's happy. And he was just a naturally spontaneous and jolly person. Idi Amin also had an active love life. Besides his official wives, there were other women and girls who shared his company. Maybe if, if there is any, let me say, if there is an occasion and a lady presents herself uh, extraordinarily, he would be very happy, very, very happy indeed. He would appoint you at any, any position at that moment. The duty of the woman is the housewoman. He knows how to keep house very well. If he can do that, let me make first examinations, appoint women to be the managers of hotel, which is done. At a state function, he often ended up living with the best dancer. He did have his good friends. <laughs> a lot of them ended up as my mothers. <laughs> a good way of uh, getting people who were really nice. They used to go for these occasions and the most famous dancer from the Ngonge clan where he ended up building the satellite on the Musei, Musei's uh, land in Mukono, she was one of the people who had actually, uh, uh, she's called uh, Najemba, today she's Hajat Madina, I mean. But right then, she was the most amazing dancer in the Chiganda tradition. His love for life knew no boundaries. Every barracks had its own brass band. Besides his fondness for music, Amin also tried his hand at songwriting and played the accordion. Weekends, we go to Zaire, to 
just to go and enjoy life. He was a lifeist. He would just ring his friend. After all, even Mobutu himself was. He was a lifeist. Then we would go and uh, they call Ro Ro Rocheru and, um, and Franco. Then, plus others. So we would go and enjoy. Amin, who was fluent in most of the languages in Uganda, was also known for his power of the moment episodes. We went to Lahore, Pakistan, and I, was, I became Minister of Foreign Affairs. Uh, yes, I was, at least for those few minutes. The Minister of Foreign Affairs was there, and they wanted only two people to enter the conference. That was himself and the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And he wanted whatever would come out of the conference to be broadcast back home. I got the Ministry post for those few hours. President Amin let out his fan side in public, never minding what detractors said. No other president before or after him displayed his love in public like he did. Gillian Nantume, NTV.